What's going on YouTube? It's Pelfrey and uh, no, this is a, another video of the Red Sea Reefer 250. Um, everything's been doing great. Um, I do miss having the auto feeder on the tank, but for the most part everything's been doing really, really great in the tank. Uh, this PP15 has some, you know, brown uh, diatoms or something on it, which is something typical that I run into whenever I add uh, new equipment to the tank. Coraline algae is just kind of blowing up back here. I have the tune scraper out of the tank. It's covered in coralline algae. I don't know if we can get a good real shot of that, but I took it out. Um, I do need to do some water testing and um, see where the levels are at. And I've not done a water change in like three weeks. I've just been really busy. Um, I can show you guys real quick. So busy building this back here. And I'm fixing to go get some more lumber and work on it some more. So, you know, another trait of being a reefer. So, <clears throat> wanted to show you guys, I am missing one of the cabinet locks. I did order some more, so I need to put it on there. I tried to glue the other one on there, but it didn't work out so well. Um, the Camor dosing pump has been flawless and um, it's really quiet. It's really, really quiet. Um, the, I still need to work on this kink here, but, uh, the DC, uh, T 4000 has worked wonderfully. Look at that gunk that's just sitting down there in the sump. No skimmer steel. Um, I've not been changing this out as regular as I should. And the great thing about it is it'll just overflow into the uh, skimmer section, which is quite dirty, but I have added some battle corals Cato Morpha, or Chato, however you would like to say that, and it's got a, quite a nice tumble to it. So um, I ordered an eight by 10 bag from Battle Corals, and um, you know, <clears throat> I did pay $25 to ship it, but that's just what Battle Corals charges. That's who I wanted to order it from, so I did get a large portion. And after talking to Scurvy and uh, Santa Monica Filtration, I uh, mentioned it even that I needed to open the ball up. So that's what I did. I opened the Kato ball up. I have some detritus just sitting around down here. Um, but yeah, I'm running the light from like 10 p.m. to like 9 a.m., something like that. And couldn't be more satisfied with uh, the way the setup is really. And it's dead silent. And you can hear a little bit of a whine from the pump there and a little bit of noise from the PP15, but for the most part, it's silent. So I'm just gonna open this door really quick. It's gonna be really hard to see. I need to turn the light off in the cabinet as well. So bear with me for a second. I don't wanna get the batteries all aggravated. Um, everything fell off the wall here. But this is my equipment cabinet now. I mean, literally, I got, this is the controller for the PP15, it fell down. There's the uh, controller for the return pump. Just a surge protector, the controller for the tunes, uh, ATO, and my smart Wi-Fi controller before this thing was packed full of cables. And I do wish, because the controller for the return pump has a tab on it right there for the screw. I wish that all companies put that on there because if I put some double-sided tape on this one or the Velcro or whatever it came with, and it's junk. It just falls off, so. But that's it, I mean, I have nothing else in here. Um, very, very simple. I have return pump, wave maker, and refugium light running off this. And that's that, you know, I don't, I can shut off the return pump, I can shut off the wave pump, and I uh, can manage the, uh, the refugium light with the outlets that I need there. So very satisfied with that. Put my wire tie back on here so the girls can't get in there. Gonopora, everybody says they're hard to keep, but this thing has been kicking it. There's a mushroom there in the back. Dead SPS coral just hanging out there. Um, obviously the hammers are doing great. Um, the torch coral's doing great. 
the mushrooms, everything's doing, you know, pretty well. Uh, I did hook up the reef link, which the best thing about the reef link is it's upstairs and it's not in the equipment cabinet. So the apex is gone, all of that's gone. I'm running the reef link now and uh, it was very simple to hook up and get going. Probably already hear the chaos here. Let me get close to the microphone, but look at this. Rio 17 ATF sticking out like a fire hydrant. This pump is doing work. It's my, my salt water that I'm mixing up. It is absolutely doing work. Let's get it up plug. I don't know if I can do it one handed or not. I'll probably turn the camera off. But look at this. The real pumps are real. Wanted to show you guys real quick the Cato Morpha under the $30 uh, Amazon light and it has grown tremendously uh, so much so that it's not t even tumbling anymore but this light has done great and I'm not getting a lot of I mean I'm getting bleed over into the ATO container but it's not been so bad and at some point I may put a divider uh, in between the two of the containers or something the uh, ATO container just to get the bleed off but this light for 30 bucks I really don't think you can beat it and uh, the Ketomorph has been growing for me, so I can't complain at all. I'm going to uh, put in a little snippet of a contest that a YouTuber by the name of Acro Breeder is running. Um, he's almost at like 200 uh, subscribers. I think the contest, he's trying to get like 269 subscribers. And he's going to give away some coral. So let's cut to uh, that real quick. And then we'll pick back up where we left off. Congratulations, reefers. You made it to the end of the video. You must be interested in what the acro and now famed snail breeder has to say. I don't blame you. I'm going to go ahead and announce my 269 subscriber giveaway. What's the prize? 15 acro frags. Yes, 15 acro frags. Whoa! I'm going to release further details when I approach 269 subscribers. Why 269? Well, it's a prime number. Uh, uh. And the other reason I will not mention. Thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I will never say that again. So it appears that... Let's see if I can get a flashlight here. Sorry about that. Should have been prepared but we're not tumbling anymore. So I've spread the ball open quite a bit, and um, I mean, it's, it's doing well, um, but it's not tumbling. You can see how dirty this gets, and this gets filthy really, really quick. And so overall, very thrilled with how the Kato Morpha is working out in here. Uh, did do pretty significant water change and I haven't cleaned the glass in a while. So pretty satisfied with uh, the way that everything's working out at this point. Again, I hope that this is a little bit more positive. The uh, uh, tank's doing well. It's on what I would call autopilot. I've not done any water testing or anything for quite some time. I just don't really feel uh, the need for it at the moment. But this section here is definitely the pride and joy section for myself. I love these hammer corals and um, you know the torch coral does pretty well by itself too so as always do appreciate you following along do, I have had some requests on where you can buy equipment and the only thing that I have right now uh, is the Niles 120 skimmer everything else is pretty well gone so uh, if you're interested in the Niles 120 skimmer then uh, let me know but uh, yeah appreciate you following along Thanks for your time. Check out the website at pelfrey.net. Check me out on Instagram at Pelfrey's Reef. I'll catch you all in the next one.